Hi everybody, my name is Carla and today I'm going to recreate Hailey Bieber's makeup uh, routine. It's a very natural look that she does for a date night, night out, and it's just kind of very natural, glowy, chewy as she says, and kind of uh, very natural and that the skin just looks like almost if you're not wearing uh, a lot of makeup. So to do this makeup routine, you don't need to buy anything specific. I'm going just to use the makeup that I already have and you can do the, do the same. And you can just experiment and it's kind of nice to be using the same makeup that you use every day and try to do something different. So this is the look and now I'm going to show you step by step how I did it. Right now I already have done my skincare. I have uh, put serum, cream, sunscreen and uh, that's very important to hydrate well your skin before any makeup and put sunscreen also. Now that I'm ready, my skincare is ready, I'm going to start with the makeup. I'm going to kind of take off the hair from my face. Okay, now my face is without any hair. First step that she does. In the video she uses a foundation that is Chanel. The one I'm going to use is Sadie Minerals. That's a foundation that I'm going to use that is toxic free, fragrance free, like a um, very nice foundation. So what she does is putting two pumps, one, two, and then she puts a little bit of her serum peptides, like the road one, that uh, the brand that she, just, she started. And I'm just going to do the same thing, but with my own product that I have, that I'm using right now. So I use this acid hyaluronic. So I'm going to do one pump of this and two of um, foundation. And what she does, kind of mixing both it's going to be interesting and she kind of does like this with her hands and put it on her face with her fingers and she mentions that a lot of makeup artists do it this way so let's see I don't know kind of it's a way that it looks very natural, she says. All right, this is the result. Hopefully I have done it well. And it's true that the face looks very hydrated, very um, dewy. Uh, you can find kind of this kind of result even if you don't do it exactly with her own makeup. But I like the result. It just gives kind of a little bit of the same tone of color for the whole face. And well, your hands, my hands look a little bit I don't know, I can feel that I have foundation, so I'm just going to clean my hands very fast and I will repack. She mentions in her video that if she doesn't do it this way, like she doesn't get this very glowy, natural uh, look. And I need to say that I'm surprised I never have done it exactly this way with my hands and everything, but I really like the result. It's super natural and I could even apply more because almost it looks like I'm not wearing nothing, as you can see but um, I'm just going to follow exactly how she does to have to see which one is the result. Now I'm going to do the second step that she does. I'm going to do the concealer. The one I'm going to use is Maybelline and how she does is she puts concealer kind of just right here under the eyes then she puts a little bit kind of like that kind of at the end of the eye then I have seen 
the tip it's kind of like here and then here she does like three dots like three dots but I just have done a bigger line and then she does kind of two here and two here and then she does kind of three here more or less that's <laughs> this is how she applies her concealer and then she she takes a beauty blender blend it all There is one more spot where she uses concealer and she says that she has learned it in TikTok and is kind of doing a line here. Never done that in my life. And doing another line kind of. It says, she says that that lifts up your face. Actually, I have here a little mark that I'm going to cover also. Now she blends, blends also with a beauty blender. All right. Now everything is blended. And next step that she does is just to put the, the bronzer. Okay. The bronzer that I'm going to use is the Hola. Hola. <laughs> now she's going to play the bronzer and she's going to sculpt a little bit. Sculpt. She's going just to shape a little bit, but without putting too much because she repeats over and over that she just really likes a very like natural look. She puts a little bit up to her nose, kind of here, and also in her, in her forehead, kind of here, and here. Okay, now she's going to put kind of a liquid eyeshadow and I'm doubting in between this one that actually is for the lips but you can use it also for eyeshadow. I think this is a similar color that she's putting and or this one. This one is a, a little bit more light so I think I'm going to go with this one but I'm just going to put very very little bit and that's how she will do. I'm going just to put something like that, like this little and she just put it with her finger in the eye kind of like that and now I'm just going to blend and I think actually it's a very similar color and I'm going to put also in the other eye And this is the result. I actually quite a bit like it. It's very fun to try like a different makeup routine, even if it's very, very natural one, um, with your own products, because this one I know you can use it also for eyeshadow, but I always use it for the lips. And it's just very fun, even if you don't have exactly the same products of hair, I highly recommend you just to try for fun to do this makeup routine. The palette that she's using is Kylie Cosmetics, um, the storm one that they don't do anymore. 
and I'm going just to use like a very it's a little bit damaged but I'm just going to use this one the color that she uses is like this one I think it's almost exactly the same color and she applies it with a brush very similar to this one just around um, her eyeball kind of like that Something that she does also is to put a little bit in the bottom, thing that I almost never do. So let's see. How it looks like. Fun. And now what she does is to take more like a gold color. I'm going to use that one and she just applies it with her finger of the eye, more like in the middle part. And then she puts a little bit more of the color, the stormy one that she really likes. Okay, and I think this is more or less the look. What she does now is just to brush She just puts a clear eyebrow gel, so uh, with any pigment, I understand. So I'm going to use this one that also is transparent. So I guess she just doesn't put any color to her eyebrows. So I guess this is the look I'm going to brush them a little bit more yes this is the look for the eyebrows eyelash curler oh, let's make my eyes cry a little bit and I'm going to do a mix I have these two mascaras because right now I just don't know which kind of mascara I like the most. Okay. I have used the Sephora um, mascara and she only applies mascara on the top uh, part of the eye, not in the bottom because she says then it gives you more like a fresh look. Then she puts a little bit of blush. I'm going to use the Shiseido and number floating rose number three and I think it's a similar color that what she's using and I'm just going to apply it. I'm going to put the highlighter just right here the one that I'm going to use is Charlotte Tilbury one of my favorites if not I have one from Fenty Beauty that I really like too but I think I'm going to go with this one and just apply a little bit on my hand and from here I'm just going to apply kind of here and a little bit on the top of my eyes
Now for the lips, what she does is do her lips around like with a lip pencil and she over does, overlines her lips only on the top part she says and then kind of draws the line down so let's see if I can do it These are my lip result thing that I like very much. Then what she does is just to put moisturizer on the lips. And I'm going to do the same. I'm going to use this one that is um, that has argan oil. And she uses the one that uh, has peptides and is the road brand, that new brand that she has made. So um, if you have tried her lip um, moisturizer, uh, let me know in the comments and I would like to know how much you like it. Then she puts a little bit of like powder um, to make sure some areas doesn't shine too much during the day. So I'm going to put a little bit of powder in the most conflicted areas okay so we are done And this is the night out Hailey Bieber makeup look. Thank you so much for watching and I will be very, very thankful if you like this video, comment anything that you would like to comment and subscribe. And if you would like me to recreate other makeup looks, comment and let me know. Bye!